Welcome! In this video you will learn how to enter your taxes into ResNexus. To do so, navigate to Settings, and under General Settings, click on Taxes. When putting in your taxes into ResNexus, it's important to double check your work. Most businesses have sales tax, as well as some form of lodging tax depending on industry. Use the Add button to add a new tax. Assign a name to the tax, enter the tax percentage. I'll go ahead and do that. And then you select the type of tax. Is it a room tax, a sales tax, a food tax, an alcohol tax, or other tax? You also want to indicate the effective date. Let's say that it starts um, the start of 2015. and it's really that easy to add a new tax. If you want to remove it, you check it and then you click re remove tax. If you to edit a tax, you click on the name of the tax. There's only really one tax option and it deals with taxing rooms. Most businesses like to communicate to guests that the sales tax is separate from lodging taxes. It's also easier to pay taxes this way. By default, when calculating the taxes of rooms, ResNexus will apply all sales and all room tax entries. If you want the opposite, where you enter room taxes that include the sales tax, you will need to check, check this setting so as to not automatically include sales tax on rooms. Most businesses leave this unchecked. Now, what do you do when you're notified that a tax has been increased? Um, it's best to add a new tax and then remove the old tax. So for example, let's say that the state lodging tax goes up to 10.5%. So what we'd do is we'd add a new state lodging tax and then we'd put in the new tax amount. And let's say it's going to start next year so once again that would be 2015 and let's extend it out to 2030 so now we've we've added a new state lodging tax now we need to actually limit the old tax so we would go into this one and we change the end date to end at the, at the end of 2014 now, what's nice about this is basically all taxes in the 2014 year receive the old tax, but then any reservations coming in for the, for the next year will receive this new tax. We do have to update any reservations um, that have been booked for the next year. So we would come down here and we'd put one, we'd start the, we'd put in the start of next year and then we'd say update reservations. Now what this does is it tells ResNexus to go through all future reservations starting January 1 of 2015 and apply this new state sales tax. Now when updating your taxes if you are a essentials or professional edition subscriber please feel free to call in it doesn't hurt to have us double check your taxes for the starter edition, just make sure you double check um, your taxes. Uh, normally what, what we recommend is put in your taxes and then go and, and make a go go and make sure that the taxes look correct on a reservation, even if you have to make a sample reservation. Adding taxes is relatively uh, easy to do. Um, you, you're, you're not really coming in here very often. Um, but when you are, it is very important to get those taxes correct. Have a wonderful day.